Well, you know, back then, most immunologists were MDs. If you look at that generation, it wasn't considered necessary to get both an MD and a PhD. It never, honestly, it never really occurred to me. Um, even though I knew I liked science from doing, from working in my dad's lab when I was a, a college student at Harvard, it, um, it just wasn't that frequently done. We had a few students in our first year class at, at Harvard Medical School that already had PhDs. I don't even recall any who, who got both MDs and PhDs, so I never really thought about it. And students always ask me, you know, do you think I need to get both an MD and a PhD? And until about 10 years ago, my answer was, no, you really don't need both degrees. If you, if you don't intend to do clinical training and you really never want to see a patient, there's, there's really no point in getting an MD, just get a PhD. Um, and if you want to spend most of your time in the lab, you know, you can do a postdoc, which is what I did, and that'll be fine. But I have to say my advice is different nowadays. I think the technology, the field has moved so fast. Uh, the technology is so complex, and the science has just exploded. That I, I, And the competition is fiercer, and we're in a fiscally constrained time, so I, I think that MD-PhD students do really have an edge. They have an edge in terms of getting awards, um, getting grants, uh, getting positions, and now my counsel is, yeah, get them both, but we've got to figure out a way to truncate the length of this experience for you. We can't have our MD-PhD students who are in many ways the creme de la creme not open their own laboratories until they're in their mid to late 30s. I, I set up my laboratory when I was 31 years old and I was a first year rheumatology fellow with a NIH grant and uh, I just saw patients and I set up my lab at the same time and hired a couple of technicians in a little tiny space and got going. I mean, we're wasting, in some sense, the most creative years, or what could be the most creative years 